But uh, <laughs> uh, so, Chris, I want to get to Chris real fast. I know that Chris has a question that somebody asked him about oh, yeah. iPath. Oh, we're we're gonna wrap. We're gonna end with the whole thing there. But um, oh, Matt's got the final. The... Matt's got the the final question. I guess. All right, so final question. Final question. So, where to go? Daniel again. How is coronavirus impacting the IA industry? Uh, less uh, uh. ready for deployment. So I'll, I'll just touch on this really quick. I have been, and, and Chris has, has also done some interviews with, with a couple of IA firms. I've been talk, I talked to Pilot today, and I talked to two, uh, two other IA firms. And basically what they are telling me right now today, which again, this could absolutely change five minutes from now, is that insurance adjusters are an essential service yeah. For whatever that's worth, right? So we're not going to be yeah. restricted. They're not going to say you're going to have to shut down your dining room, you know, or whatever it is. Um, also, some IA firms are issuing some documentation to field adjusters so that they, if they get pulled over by authorities, and if you're in a state or a locality where they are restricting travel, that you can say to the to the police officer, or whoever it is, you know, here's here's my documentation saying like that I'm Florida. on Florida. Official yeah. business, essential services businesses, or whatever. Yeah, so whatever state it is. So it's from yeah. right now, and Pilot said that they're like, we're still deploying field adjusters. We still have people inside, outside, cat and daily. Um, so and and that they're actually they have uh, opportunities and need and whole list of states and part of. Uh, we're going to do a, a news thing this weekend, and I'll be sharing with you guys what those states are and where that stuff is. So. Um, that's, that's what I yeah. know at this moment. So, well, I'll tell you what, man, and I don't, I'm just, I'm just spitting in the wind here. Um, do, do any of you three know exactly what the landscape looks like for unemployment insurance as far as what we do? And if there's a if you're W-2, way, you can get it. If you're just 1099. Well, uh, sure. No, but I, what, what I'm saying is as far as we go with deployment opportunities, you understand that there's an uh, unemployment office that ha is staffed for normal circumstances. Right. But obviously we're in unprecedented times right now. And there are s lots and lots of people applying for unemployment insurance right now. How do they w withstand the onslaught of unemployment applications that are coming through. And does that pose a deployment opportunity and nationwide, even outside oh, yeah. of the possibility of whatever percentage of BI claims that may come in, even outside of that, does the unemployment thing pose anything for us as far as potential long-term income? Sure. I think there's going to be a lot of interesting opportunities, James. No, I, and I couldn't answer that question, but as far as if you're an adjuster and your work has been impacted by this disaster, I know that part of this bill that they have is they're, they're taking care of people in the quote unquote gig economy. And I yeah. wish I would have, and they're actually going to consider people who are independent contractors in any sort as being part of that gig economy. Absolutely. So if you're somebody that, yeah. uh, that works every day, I think there may be some relief for you. If you've had a drop in income and you can prove you've had that drop in income. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's going to be something out there for you as far as unemployment insurance right now, but as far as, is it, is this going to create, uh, opportunities for us as adjusters? I don't know, man, I do property and cars. I don't do sick people. So I don't know if it's going to do anything for me. So. I don't know. Yeah. Could be a thing though. Yeah. I don't know.